Mr. Steele, what's the part that you have an objection to? Uh, Mr. Copeland is asking for a lawyer. I believe uh, the state alleges that he's speaking with Mr. Jeffrey Williams for a part of that call at about that time, and that Mr. Williams uh, uh, uses my name, my first name, on the call. I would object and ask to redact um, that portion, especially my name. Okay. Your Honor, I, in listening to that call, I don't believe he's, he said Brian. Um, Can you play it? Play, What's the time? Can you play the last, maybe play the last two minutes? Would that be sufficient for me to listen to it, Mr. Steele? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Let me ask. Yeah, they say, they say. Hey, right, we're going to start at 1330 or 1333 now. Oh, uh, the police, the police, oh, they them jump on me. I see me crazy, man. Man, I told everybody that's a many problems. <laughs> Whoever in the jail, all that jumping. That's what you're saying, man. That's what you're saying, man. This is a dread, bro. Man, I was hating to tell me. I know I know. You already know I know what's happening. Some of y'all are like, what the hell? What are they talking about? Man, I'm talking about nobody. They want to try and tell you. Man, I don't stop right in the front of these folks and look at these folks calling. That shit, that shit on the phone. Yeah. I made Bentley call her. Like, call her. She just yeah, see what the fuck going on. Because it's probation. It's just a little bullshit. But the probation the real try to hold you. Just because of just about their money or whatever. So I already know that. Oh, I just said, I was just gave him a lawyer, you look three, four bands, 25 You know, he'll go, he'll bring you. You have you one minute court, left. They get you in the courtroom for 25 You know, that ain't shit. They don't even want that much. One lawyer had told I know. Yeah. So listen. Oh, uh, I'm out here. They trying to teach you all uh, my information. So you say you try to get in the morning? Yeah, well, I have a lawyer. Or whatever lawyer you choose. I don't have none. Well, I could just have somebody, to, I could just have somebody to pull up on their son and, and bring their son to money then. You see what I'm saying? Or, or they can have mom or daddy because, you know, they probably know something about the shit. So I can just get, make anybody go get the money. I can make them pull up to the club, get the money from Ken or anything. Right now, you see what I'm saying? So that ain't no question. She won't know no lawyer, though. Yeah, you, that's what I'm saying. You know my lawyer. So you, I know my, I ain't got the number hit him. You I just tell him, like, yeah, I got, he already got my card and everything. He already got my card and his system and shit. So you, I ain't got the number just hit him. Like, go check on this number right here and, and you can go check on this name. And Thank you for using Securus. Goodbye. I don't believe you guys, he, I don't believe, I did not hear what he said. Brian or Mr. Steele's name at all. Mr. Steele, do you, I, I can't say I've heard it either. Do you have a time reference you can point me to again? I'll listen to it again. Counsel, I'm going to listen to it through the ear audio system. You're welcome to listen to it as well again. It's going to start at 1504. Go to the club, get the money from Ken or anything. Right now, you saw that, so that ain't no question. Shit, won't know no lawyer, though. Yeah, you, that's what I'm saying. You know my lawyer. So you, I know my, I ain't got the number hit him. You just tell him, like, yeah, I just, yeah, I got my card and everything. Yeah, I got my card and his system and shit. So I got no just hit him. You can stop it. It doesn't say Brian. And go check. Mr. Steele, any further? Oh, 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 they're going to edit. Oh, they're going to not play that. I do hear your name. Your first, at least your, at least uh, what's represented to be Brian. So um, that will be excluded. Do you have any, does anybody else have any specific objections as to any other period that, that of that call from um, 000 to 15, uh, about 15 minutes, 15 minutes, 10 seconds, or thereafter? Mr. Weinstein? No, you're right. Mr. Matthews? No, you're right. Um, Ms. D. Williams? Uh, All right. Um, Mr. Botts, um, on behalf of uh, Mr. Nichols? All right, Mr. Shard. Okay. Um, anything further, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Steele? In regards to that section, not, not, the, not the part that um, you just ordered to be uh, st stayed or not played. It's not going to be played. Um, be clear that we're not just playing his name, but the fact he says, "You know my lawyer," and we'll stop where it says before it says Brian. And then we'll play after that as well. All right. I don't know the relevance. 
and then it gets cut off. So I'm objecting to that. To the relevance of, you know, my lawyer. Yeah. Or there, or that, or that part of the tape. What difference does that? Okay, make? state. We we believe that. As a part of the RICO conspiracy, the fact that the leader is offering up his lawyer to pay for another co another co conspirator to gain to get out of jail is relevant information. Mm. Who it is, that's fine. But the fact that he's offering up his lawyer for another co conspirator is relevant. You steal anything else? Yes. It was a conversation that got cut off. If you look at the records or if the state bothers to look at the records, I did not have anything to do with Mr. Copeland ever. Um, I don't know who represented Mr. Copeland, so I believe that it is irrelevant. It's just a conversation that was then cut off, so you don't get the entirety of the thought. So I do you know, if they're going to argue, they being the state's going to argue, oh, Mr. Williams is going to use his personal lawyer. That's not a true statement, so it's misleading. It's an incomplete, it's unfortunate, but the, I don't think anyone did it. I think the securist cuts off at 15 minutes. Yeah. Um, the other thing is, I think that, well, this, the court heard there's some conversation prior to that because we played the last two minutes <clears throat> in regards to representation. So I think that's what it's made in reference to, um, even though they don't complete the conversation. But Ms. Hilton, anything else? That will go to weight, not admissibility. He can surely ask if he chooses to ask Mr. Copeland any questions. Did you ever get a lawyer? So he could. You can ask Mr. Copeland that question. Mr. Steele, anything else before we? I just don't think it's needed to say my lawyer. That's what, that's what I'm objecting to. I don't mind the conversation about I need a lawyer. Um, I think Mr. Williams says get any lawyer you want, something to that effect. It's not a quote. Um, but I don't see the need to say I have my lawyer. I have his business card. I can call my lawyer. I don't see how that is relevant. And then it gets cut off. So I don't know if that means what the state is saying is, oh, and then he's going to get a Mr. Williams personal lawyer for Mr. Copeland. That's not what it says. I don't, I, and that would be certainly speculation. That's, that's that would be speculation. But I think they get at least to play it based upon what they proffered so far. I think they, they get to play it. It's sub, and, and also it's very limited as to what it can be said about it. Because unless Mr. Copeland, you know, has some frame of reference. But. I don't disagree with that, but I'm, I would like to leave it after I need money for a lawyer. These are not quotes. But, um, you know, they're discussing, I need money for a lawyer. I don't know any lawyer. Um, a statement is made, we'll get any lawyer you want, and then just end it there, rather than I have my own lawyer and I have him on Rolodex or whatever, whatever the, I don't think Rolodex would use, but whatever those terms are, at that point I would end it. That's that's my request to the court. I also object. Let, let me let me see if the state has any Your Honor, relevant, further issues to that. Your Honor, relevant evidence is any evidence that tends to prove an issue. Do we believe that the fact that the leader of the gang is offering up his lawyer to his co-conspirator is relevant for this jury to determine whether or not there is a RICO gang conspiracy? And so we. So we believe that that is relevant because the, the argument is relevant. It also comes in because it's a party opponent admission. This is the defendant Williams telling, telling Mr. Copeland that um, I will provide. He said specifically what Mr. Copeland says is I don't know any lawyers. And he said, you can call my lawyer is what he actually says. So I think reading that, Reading it in context, he's saying, okay, you don't know any, but I'll provide mine. Or you can you can potentially use mine. Whether or not he used him or not, that is a question that can be asked of, asked of Mr. Copeland. But the fact that he was willing to offer up the lawyer is what is important, not the result of it. Right. Sir. I think this, this is a very bad point in uh, our community if we are now going to say... Often to get someone a lawyer is part of a RICO conspiracy. This is a probation revocation case on supposed non-compliance with community service. That's the that I know you haven't heard the whole. I, I, I haven't, sir. But that's what the recording before we started at thirteen thirty. That's what it's about. Mr. Copeland says, and it's basically mirrors 
what he said on the witness stand. He said, the police had me locked up. They, these are my words, trumped up charges because my probation officer didn't take out a warrant on me, but the supervisor was asked by the police to take out a warrant on me because of uh, community service hours. I will be getting out on Friday. This is a Wednesday. I'll be getting out on a Friday, and I believe it's a Wednesday. I'll be getting out on Friday when I go to court, but I don't have a lawyer, so it gets continued for me to get a lawyer. So I'm held hostage, basically, by the way the courts are. So Mr. Williams is not part of any of that conversation. He then allegedly gets on the telephone and has a conversation, and that is explained to Mr. Williams as well. I go to court Friday, but I don't have a lawyer. Um, to then say that it's part of a conspiracy to get a lawyer for someone going to court on a probation revocation case, I think is a bridge too far. To say you're going to get a lawyer, I don't have a problem with that. But to say I offered up my lawyer because that is a symbolic, is symbolic of a crime, it seems to me that if that type of evidence comes in courts, we, we are all in trouble because that's what we want people to do. We want people to get lawyers. So I'm objecting to the state's um, playing that portion. I'm not objecting to the portion that Mr. Williams allegedly is on the phone and um, is offering to potentially help with a lawyer. I don't have a problem with that. If the state wants to then argue that's somehow part of a conspiracy, I'll argue against it. But to then go further and say, aha, and this is a crime organization and the lawyers are part of the criminal, act criminal activity, I think that that is under 403. Um, it should never be said in any court unless there's proof of it. That lawyers protect no, let them criminal fish. parties. So. Geron, the state never said, I don't even know where Mr. Still got that last assertion from. The state said what is relevant is that he was willing to offer up his attorney to represent him. That is where it ends. And everything else Mr. Steele said is great for closing argument. All but right. the relevance of it, it comes in, and then he can argue all of that, what he just said in closing. Um, it's relevant. It's more probative than prejudicial under 403, and I'm going to go ahead and I'll allow it. I'll give you a continuing objection, Mr. Steele, in that respect. 